Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean. Today I have a Shein haul. This is, today's only a small one. So let's get started. First we'll start with these. They're the cleaning erasers. Just like that name brand one. Now I took one out. I was using it to see how they work. So you know them by that other name brand. Let me see, I find my price on these. They're in here. Do, do, do. So you get 30 of them. You get 30 for only 69 cents. And they work just as good. I used I use it for quite a while and uh, they, they seem to work just the same. Now, when I looked these up on Amazon for a pack of 10, it was $12. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to pay 69 cents for 30 of them. I thought that was a really good deal. So I had to give it a try. I try things for you guys. So this is a definite. I would recommend. I don't see no difference. There's no difference in the feel. I think they might be a little smaller. I didn't have one of my other ones um, left. But other than that, they work the same to me. They did a great job like the other ones. So I suggest those guys. Then I got two of these flowers. Now, here's what I wanted to show you. I bought these for a reason because I'm thinking some things you buy, you know, the picture just doesn't look the same, right? And this is a good example of one. So when they show the picture of these flowers, now look at that. Now, it looks like an acrylic maybe on the picture, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a foil is what it is. But they're still pretty. They describe it as a pla as plastic. So, but the picture, their picture, my picture is pretty good here. But their picture, like, if you look it up, which when I put the link in, it looked more like a uh, plastic acrylic like piece. But they're still pretty, and they were um, let's see, where is that one? Ninety seven cents a piece. I bought two of them. I was thinking of using them in my props when I when I do pictures of my products and stuff. You know, I, I like to shine everything, but they are like a, a foil. And they are, looks like about 12 inches, I would say. About 9 inches. And across about 3 inches. But they're so pretty. When the light hits it, you know, they really shine. But just so you know that it is a foil. And that's why sometimes the description isn't very good. I've had things in the past that... Just didn't really match the description, and that I like to point that out to you guys so you're not fooled by things. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so then I got some these heart pendants, and I can use these. Uh, I don't have my black plate down here. Of course, it's missing right now. I have my large one. Take the large one out here. Okay, let's get these. They're all different sizes and a couple different shapes. They like the, the crystals. They shine really, really nice. Here would be like the smallest. And I would say the biggest is this one. So let's get those two together. And I'll measure them. So you're getting ton of these. You can use those. They, they all have the hole in them. So you can use them as a pendant. You can use, like, there is a set here, so you can make earrings if you want. It looks like you're getting two of each, so you can, if you want a little bit bigger heart earrings. So you get two of each. Looks like, this one, might you might get four, because this looks like, exactly like this. Nope, what's the difference with these two? They're the same size, but they're, they're thicker. So these are flatter, these are a little thicker. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same shape. You can see the blues, the purples in there and then these this shape but they're pretty so um you know i figure i can use them on my sun catchers i can use them on dangles you know wherever you think i think they were prettier on my hand they showed up better so 10 of them for a dollar 70. that was a good good price okay then I got, there it is, next, 
because I got a, wanted to try one of their outlet covers to see how they are. And I got this one for my bedroom. And it's sticky, and I'll show you why in just a second. It comes with the screws. But I got a blingy one. So it's a plastic protector. It's pretty. Now, it's not sticky on top here, but where it's sticky is the edges. Which, when it's against the wall, you're not going to feel that anyways. But you could probably take, I don't think I have it here. I think it's upstairs. Is one of those um, embossing powder packs and probably get the sticky. But it's going to be against the wall, so I don't see a problem with it anyways. And they had the other sizes, like the doubles, the triples, the, um, you know, this, of course, is a switch. But they had the light outlet plug-in ones, too. So this was $2.28. The screws are painted white. You can see that they're painted white. I thought I'd get I had I had one I made years ago with washi tape. I put washi tape across on the angle, different um colors and designs. And that one held up quite quite well, but it's just now starting to kind of peel and stuff. But I've had that one for probably a good six years hanging with the washi tape. And I didn't glue it, I just took the washi tape and brought it to the back a little bit. So you can do that. But this I thought, well, let's get some bling. You know me guys, right? Get some bling. G needs bling. Can we get the garbage out of our way? Okay. Now these flowers I thought were really, really pretty. And I do like them. And... Oh, these flowers, by the way, they did have different colors. I just got to clear to start out with to see if I, how I like them. These flowers, they are called a plastic flower, which they are. They're like a heavy... They don't bend. They're, they're like a heavy plastic. But I thought these were really cute. Now, I don't think these, I think this was the only color. There's different shapes. Let me get them the right way. It's all different shapes. Let me put them this way. Some of them, like this one, is kind of funky. You can move it a little bit. And like this one's kind of all looks bench and scrunched. I, I can, if I play with it, I might be able to work it a little bit. But that one came all kind of scrunched. So I'll play with that a little bit more. And it's got little crystal beads in there on all of them. This one I really love. Look at that one. Isn't it pretty? thought these would be really nice for albums and stuff like that, for album covers, other projects in a shadow box maybe. So $3 for eight of them. I'm probably going to get another pack because there's a couple of like I really, really like the style of. Now, if they had different colors, but um, it would be really nice, too. Okay, so $3 for those. And the paper pack. Now, this is listed as a uh, vintage oil paper. It's like a vellum. You get 15 pieces in it. I will show you. Okay, so they are decorative. You can kind of see all the patterns here, but I'll go through each one. And it just says... Vintage Inspiration Series and the Vintage Oil Paper. Makes room. And it's just like, I would say it's thinner than a um, vellum. Maybe like a wax paper. I thought this would be really, really pretty. You can see my hand behind it. Let's put it this down so I can put them right on top of there and you kind of see them. So 15 pieces, be really nice for your junk journals, albums, um, card. You can cut that out, put that on the front of a card. Because when they're against the white, maybe I should show them that way. They're more, more vibrant when they're against the white, of course. They are see-through. Oh, I got a bent one there. I thought I would try these. I've never had them. That one's bent. We'll see if we can fix the crease. Otherwise, I'll cut around it and use different parts of it. Some purples. Mostly pinks there. We got some purples going on. They're very thin. Trying to see which way that goes. Got the writing the right way. Pretty. I said they're really be really nice for your vintage journals. Let me 
think that one's really pretty. You can use just this bottom half on a card. Pink background on that one. The colors are coming up pretty good today. White looks like a castle in the background. Or a cabin. Well, maybe more of a castle. It goes, it extends. Church steeple, maybe. Look pretty. I may look and see if I can find more of them. Um, this was the only pattern that they had. Oh, this is the same one. So that was a double. I think that was the first double we came across. Interesting. We don't have any other doubles. Couple more. That one goes that way. Real muted colors on this one. And then the last sheet. Any more information back there? Not really, no. $2.40 for 15 sheets. And then I got another one of these packs, which I've gotten different ones in the past. And I'll go through this quickly because there's 100 sheets in here. So it's a 100 sheet book. Grab my glasses. I know I'm blind as a bat sometimes. Let's see, this was the books of plants. 100 sheets of watercolor flower material paper. And this feels like, um, I'm trying to think what, um, almost like a handmade paper. It's really nice. It's got a nice feel to it. And then each sheet is, I forgot to tell you, and these are, I think these are six by six. Yeah, these are six by six. These ones are five and a half by just under four. So I'll quickly go through these ones. Let me try to see if I get a good grip on And let me see how many of each. I think they usually have four of each. Oh, I guess not. These ones don't have duplicates yet. Pinks and reds mostly in this one. And they're all kind of by color themes. So when you buy them, and this one was, where's that one? Four dollars and twenty cents for this pack of a hundred. Some yellows there, pinks again. Really pretty. I've liked all of them that I've gotten so far. You can use them on the front of a card. There's a lot of things. You know, of course, your junk journals, albums, all that stuff. Some peaches there. So those are, I, I really like those when I get those. And then, this is my last paper pack. So I got this one. This is like little pieces of sample paper. There's 60 pieces in here. And they're just like, looks like three different sizes. So your first size is about two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And then your second size is about three and a half by two and a quarter. And then the largest is four and three eighths by two and three eighths, which is weird because is that the, oh yeah, it is a little wider than that. I was like, yeah, I thought they were all the same. And then you just got different colors. They all got like on this one, they all got pretty kind of like a tan background. Spanish color background. So, like I said, just little small pieces you can put behind embellishments when you're doing your junk journals. You can use them for different things. Looks like maybe two of each. They're like a typing paper thickness. And this one's got some blues in it. 
some yellows, some pinks. So they're, they're really pretty for your junk journals and just if you need a little piece of paper for something. Okay, so that was 60 pieces for $1.70 on that one. And you know me, I have to get some jewelry. I get I only got one ring. Yep, just one this time. This is a rose gold. And it's got like the, I think that's like, I forget what that's called, like an opal or something maybe. Up there, see if it's going to show. See if they show up a little better there. So this one I got the seven. And we're on. Yeah, I haven't been disappointed with their rings yet. Let's try and see if we can get a better close-up shot of it on the side. It's really hard to get in there. You can see the little gems on the side there. So this was this one was a little bit more expensive than I normally pay for rings. It was two dollars and ninety-five cents. Usually I pay under a buck. So, so but I got it. Okay. So I got some more of the Lily of the Valley flowers. Some of, some of the sites call them um, the bell flowers. You know, I've gotten a bunch of colors. So I got the reds and the purple this time. The red ones are really pretty. I like those red ones, these ones. And they were $2.50 for a pack of 10. Every time I think that I have all the colors, then I see more colors. Those are really pretty. Kind of got an iridescence to it, an iridescence to it. And they are, they are only about, about 11 sixteenths. It's about 250. I might have all the colors now. But I love those. Okay, then I got these little wine bottle charms for, oh my goodness, my friends that drink wine. I don't drink wine. I never could get the taste for beer, wine, or coffee. I don't like any of them. I can't, I can't read that little bitty. These are pretty big, actually. But they'd be cute for something different. Two inches. So two inches long. They're nice, nice and weight, weighty. So eight of them for two dollars. Like I don't have anything like that. So okay, one, and I got one more thing here. Yep. The strawberry, these strawberry charms. I've never seen these before either. So I picked them up to see what they're like. They are a metal. They're metal. Little hearts with uh, scalloped edges and then a strawberry in the middle. Ten pieces for $1.90. So those are kind of cute. And they are about five eighths that way. The camera seems to be having trouble with focusing today. And about five eighths that way too. So they're really pretty. And I don't think they have any other styles of these. Nice size for them. Hang off your dangles, stuff like that. So I think that is everything. There was some one thing that I didn't get again, so I'll have to go on and get to see if they'll send me that with my next order. Otherwise, oh, and I forgot to look up. I was going to tell you how long this one took. I think it was, I think it was two weeks for this one, right around two weeks, but I forgot to look that up. Did I write it down? No, I was going to look that up for you guys, but it was right around two weeks. So, so I go, hope you guys enjoyed this, found something you like, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.